hi guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you guys how uh, you can create a hoverboard inside unreal engine using some basic code and some like you know basic physics and math so yeah let's get into that so here you can see like i have five different c++ classes but for today we only need this and this one so this first one like cpp underscore hoverboard this is basically a pawn class which like you know holds all the controls like rotation movement those kind of things if i open that you can see this function move or hover for movement like uh, forward or backward movement this is for like rotation of the hoverboard those kind of things and there are also like few uh, a few more like functions that uh, we don't need to get into right now uh, and then there is like this cpp underscore sc underscore hover component so sc means scene component basically so I have made this as scene component so that I can add this inside any actor I want. And this is like the main uh, component that actually makes our hoverboard float. So let's see what that is. So if you open that, this is basically a line trace from the component's own location into a, a downward direction. So what happens is like at some point the line trace hits the ground. And once it hits, we have we now have the distance. and distance between that component and the uh, ground, the floor or whatever. So depending on that, we can decide how much force we are going to apply on that mesh. So think of it like this. If your mesh is like, you know, closer to the ground, you want to add more force so that it goes to the goes back to the default location. And if it's too high, then you want to add less force so that it falls back to the default location. So this whole code is basically doing that. Thing. And I'm also like doing this check that if it's not like hitting any ground or anything like that, then we are just, uh, you know, uh, adding some negative force, like some downward force so that the mesh falls back to the ground. And once it like gets closer to the ground, again, this code is going to start like, you know, uh, once the line truss hits the ground, again, this code is going to start and the hoverboard is going to float. So now let's see like how that looks inside the game. So from this one, this CPP hoverboard, I have already created a blueprint uh, class from this one. It's called BP underscore hoverboard. So here you can see I have four hover components. So this is that this component is basically that one that I showed you in the C++ classes, this one. So I have added this inside it. This is like the benefit of making a component basically. So we can add it inside any other, like any kind of actor or anything like that. Also, you have to write the code in only one component, then we can add it anywhere we want. So I have added like four different components in four different locations. Like you can see one is here, like in four uh, corners, basically. So what happens is like when I select any component, I get these variables like this trace length and the uh, hover force. The force is basically like how much force you are going to apply on this uh, hoverboard and the trace length is like the height that we want our hoverboard to be at like by the default height basically and this slope mesh is something that the ho hoverboard uh, applies the force to so here in the construction script you can see for all the components i have set the lock mesh to hoverboard basically this one that we want to add the force to so right now if i go to the level and play you can see there are like four different line traces and these are from these uh, four different components so but like the benefit of having four different components is like this. If right now I'm moving my hoverboard, you can see the pitch is changing. If I'm like rotating, you can see the roll, the yaw uh, and everything is changing. But it does not matter because we have four different components. So it's always going to stabilize itself. So this is how this uh, system works basically. So that's what I wanted to show you guys in today's video. I know this is like a very small brief video. But uh, if you guys want some kind of tutorial about this, then do let me know in the comment section. I can make that for you. 
also like this is made entirely in C++ but if you want to make this in blueprints that's possible as well so if you want that let me know in the comment section thanks for watching my video guys see you next time